In this video, let us discuss about the string library functions. The library functions are available to manipulate strings. The prototype of these functions are available in the header file string.h. So if you want to use the spring library function, so you have to include string.h. The first one is strlen. So this is uh, the prototype. This function accepts string as the parameter and returns the length of the string argument. So count the number of characters until slash zero is encountered. It does not include slash zero, but the remaining characters will be counted. For example, here, str is equal to hello world. str len of str len of str. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 11 will be printed on the screen. The next one is str cpy. It copies the uh, source string to the destination string. So the second one is the source string and the, the, sec the first one is the destination string. The function copies the characters, including slash zero from the source string to the destination string. Returns the value in the destination string. So for example here, str1 is equal to hello and str2 is equal to 10. So str, uh, sorry, str1 is, uh, is initialized with value hello. And we have another variable str2, str cpy str2, comma str1. So the content of str1 is copied to str2. So now both str1 and str2 becomes hello. Next one is strcat. strcat, the function con concatenates the source string to the destination string. The length of the destination string must be greater than the source string because it copies the content of the uh, source string to the end of the destination string. For example, here, str1 is equal to hello and str2 is equal to world. So before uh, concatenation, str1 is just hello. And now let us perform the concatenation, strcat, str1, comma, str2. So the content of str2 is added to the end of str1. So now after concatenation, str1 becomes hello world. Next, it is strcmp. So the function compares two strings passed as parameters and return a value less than zero. So it returns a value less than zero when string one is less than string two. It returns a value equal to zero if both strings are equal. If it returns a value greater than zero when string one is greater than string two. So here str1 is hello and str2 is equal to world. str cmp str1 comma str2. So it, uh, it has a value. So this is not equal. So the value return will be non-zero. So if result is equal to zero, the strings are equal. Otherwise, the strings are not equal. So here, the value return will be non-zero. So we will get the answer. The strings are not equal. Now let us make both the strings uh, similar. So here, this strcmp will return a value zero. So if result is equal to zero, the result is equal to zero, condition true, we will get the answer. The strings are equal. Thank you.